Hey, hi, howdy. I am CamCam66, and welcome back to Some Distant Memory. Now, we are just learning more and more about this family throughout time, and hopefully we can keep going and even find more. Ooh, another new room. Well, let's try to do everything that... Wait, what? I've already been to this room? Oh, this is the room that I came down on the tree, huh? Now I got this. Displaying a cache message 001. If you could have one quality or ability, what would it be? Another relationship question? Where do you f where did you find these? I'll tell you later. Just answer it. Is this like a superhero ability or just something I could be good at? Superpowers are fine. In that case, I want to see the past. So time travel? Three. Oh. Oops. Two. Not quite. I don't want to go back in time. I just want to see it and not change things. People who say they want time travel always seem like control freaks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, they always want personal gain, like making money on the stock market. And you don't want to need to make money on the stock market, do you, Mr. Baron? That's not what I mean. Hang on. Your answer isn't time travel, is it? Nope, it's way better. First, tell me why you choose to see the past and not change it. I, want, I just want to witness how people lived. Everyday life has its own kind of harmony and rhythm. Something that you can't explain. Uh, we don't get to feel what that was like for past generations. I used to listen to my dad's old records. It kind of... It was kind of like time travel. The music wasn't half bad. But you were only getting a small slice of that past life. Music can capture the mood of the er an era, but it's never the same after as living it. I see. So you're afraid if you change things, you'd ruin the mood. Right. Plus, I'm afraid of time paradoxes. Okay, so I'd want the ability to not eat. Um, I haven't eaten like a three in like three hours. Does that count? I never need to eat, but I'd still have, be full of energy, like photosynthesis. Is eating really that big of a nuisance? I like it sometimes, but it's such a drain on productivity. Is it texting also a drain on productivity? Oh, you're saying I should get back to work? No, I like it when you're being unproductive. Well, too bad. Talking to you actually helps my work on Deep Connect. How? I'll explain later. Why do I feel like I'm part of some game? Don't worry. I told you the other night. I don't like games. Ooh. Okay, so there might, is there a cell phone in here or something? Here lies Catback. At least, the very least, it would be nice to free this guy from its prison. Hold on a moment. There was a remote control in the den with an identical one. You saying you could activate it? Exactly. I'll come back here with the remote. The den was on the other side of the house, past the dining room. I'm going to do that now. I didn't know I could release it. That's why I didn't read. I'll be right back. Now that the power is on, the, this controller might free Cat back. Its location is marked on your map as blocked. I hope it works. I hope it does too. Cat back. I have the remote. Let's activate the cat back and see what happens. Be ready to move, Professor. That wall looks unstable enough as it is. Right. The last thing I want is to take cat back place in the rubble. Here it goes. Oh, wow. That's so cute. Well, I don't know about Catvac, um, but I'm all right. Poor Catvac really went through there where it, we cannot follow. Ten feet across the room? No, robot heaven. I'm sure I can revive him back at Ares. Aurora, please flag Catvac for the salvage team. I'll see you soon, tiny buddy. Now then, it looks like I can access a new room. Let's see what it holds. Oh, we will in a little bit. Hey, it's still alive. It 
is a cute kitty. Meow. My battery is low and it is getting dark. <laughs> Not hard. This device has no display. Could it be some sort of digital storage? Confirmed. This is a memory card accessible by other devices such as a phone or computer. Can uh, you access the data directly? I believe so. Based on the device we have scanned so far, I will attempt to replicate the required OS. Interfering with the storage medium, identifying file structure, accessing read and write permissions. Success. If you examine this or other memory cards, I will now be able to display its content. Excellent. Well done, Aurora. Now let's see what's on it. No. Oh, a picture of fireworks. Nice. I can't stop thinking about the, that movie. You mean like how bad his makeup was? Why didn't they just use an actor with actor's real chin? The chin was so big. They needed him to have a chin of a strong future gangster. <laughs> I wanted to see the relationship with his future wife more. It was sweet. So you wanted a romance, corrupt. No, yeah. This one, three. No way, I'd team up with myself to kill the bad guys, but he wasn't there to team up. He went there to save his future love, the woman that rescued him from a life of crime. Why do men always need a woman to come f along and fix them? Now that's not that she was successful. What do you mean? Well, he didn't really go back for her, he went back for revenge. He was still a selfish killer. Yeah, they shouldn't have put him so close. It's still sad, all those moments. Oh, in the end, I guess he did save her life, though. They never meet in the first place. Corrupt. It's still sad, all those memories of pace they had, that they had, none of it would happen. That is sad, but at least they, she won't get shot. Moral of the story, don't date guys that kill for a living. It ends in heartache. Yeah, first thing tomorrow, I'm gonna, I'm telling my mob boss I quit. <laughs> I'll turn in my gun and hitman badge. You'd, you're more important, Mira. Haha, <laughs> that's very sweet. Keep one gun, though. You'll need it to avenge me in a few years. Hmm, maybe you're right. Wait a second. I feel my chin growing. I am future gangster. Haha, <laughs> no. All this casual talk of guns and killing. Enjoy, even joyful times in the pre-collision, pre-collapse involve gu exploding gunpowder. They had a lot of fights for the, uh, I guess. The Noah elders sometimes tell us the old war tales passed down from their grandparents. The Alliance versus the Soylent Union. The Gold War. Gold was very precious back then. Dragons were hunted to extension for their hordes. More people died than Ares and Noah put together, multiple by a thousand. It makes me you wonder if humanity deserved the collapse. Hmm, not when I see this house. People like Rick and Mira were, are worth celebrating. Their moments are worth saving. You're doing good work here. Always, I've always been caught up with pre-collapse legends and pop culture, but the memories you've unlocked show the pre-collapse that really matters. Thank you, Commander. No, thank you. You worked for years to get here. The Sunken City is your achievement. Aww. Let's go and figure out what it is. Today was amazing. The sunshine, the food, now this. They're so beautiful. I'm glad. I've been so cooped up in my office, I felt like I've been neglecting you. I wanted to give you your perfect day, or at least come close. Wait, you mean from the 30s? Six questions, that perfect day? Exactly, sunshine, hot dogs, and good company. That's wonderful, I didn't even realize. Though I'm pretty sure my answer mentioned fried chicken and potatoes. Are you saying I failed you? Huh. <laughs> we'll just have to do this all over again, I'm sorry. Well, okay, I guess we could try again next year. Keep everything else the same though, this is great. Yeah, it's like this every 4th of July. The atmosphere is incredible. It feels like all of Austin is here to experience it. Sort of what you were trying to do with Deep Connect, right? Bring people together to share moments like this? These? Well, in a way, yeah. 
it did work for us, didn't it? Life is so much better when you, we can share it. There's something powerful about it. Deep Connect could make it happen for more people in a new way. If ever anyone can invent that technology, I believe you can. Oh. Okay. Now, I am determined to figure out this one already. Oh, the kitty's dead. Hopefully they can charge him. Okay. So. I, oh, I missed these. I don't really connect with this one. I guess I'm not a big fan of the whole baby making thing. How about old was your mother when she wrote this? Is she very religious? Good question. I don't know her age here. Lit is one of the her mythological references. The story is a rough one. I think mom's saying she just wants a normal kid. That's what I was missing this whole time? Well, now I just feel silly. But here we go. What would you like me to read to you tonight? There's your Greek myth book, and your mother got you this copy of Catcher in the Rye. Catcher is a bit advanced for you, but your mother is, well, it's complicated. I want Harvey Pewter. Really, Zudi, you've read them all before. Please, Grandma, please. I don't understand what you see in these books, dear. The tale of uh, the Chimera is so much more thrilling. Brave Bellofin slaying the beast while riding Pegasus, the divine winged stallion. But Harvey Peter is wonderful. I love him, Grandma. Oh, sweetheart. All right, all right. Harvey Peter and the Immortal Divi Drive. Yay! By J.F. Seb Sebastian. Chapter 1. Aww. Okay, now we can access this. Ooh. Hi, Rick. I've been rock climbing after work lately. There's a gym beside your office. It's mainly college kids and hippies, but they give bouldering lessons. Each route is like solving a puzzle. It's so satisfying when they when you reach the top. I hope you're having a good week. See you Friday night. Yours, Mira. Oh, they're just slowly falling in love. Was the act of climbing rocks common before the collapse? Everything I've studied says people traveled on road by road in motorized vehicles. That's also what they say at NOAA. Cars, trains, rockets, hovercraft. I guess sometimes technology is no match for nature's mighty rocks. Aurora, do you have information on pre-collapse climbing, rock climbing activity? Yes, Professor. A form of pre-collapse rec recreation, humans would sometimes hike and climb rocky terrain for sport. Ah, for sport. That makes sense. The earth must have been like a giant playground for them. It's strange. I can't imagine enjoying the outdoors. To be outside areas without fearing for my life. You haven't enjoyed your, our, our search for the sunken city? Nothing personal, Commander. As much as I find joy struggling to breathe in the bloom wasteland, I think I'm an indoor person. All right, and then we got this tablet thing. A knife too deep. Page 27. The rain poured down like a cold blanket, but the night refused to sleep. The splash of rain danced along the brim of my hat as I waited in silence. Angel's tears, Sally sometimes called the rain. She would know. Can't blame the angels for crying, I suppose. The grit of the city gets in your eyes, and the grime is of it stains your soul. That wasn't true for Sally, though. How she stayed clean, I'll never know. And I probably deserve, don't deserve to. Chief, say it weren't an ac no accident, Franco called over from the phone booth. Better get down to the Tin Devil. Murder, then. Of course it was murder. The whole story stunk of foul play. But who would do in a sweet young girl like Lacey? Book, Knife Too Deep, 28. We drove down to the Devil, and it wasn't in Georgia. The club was locked down by PD and Ho Officer Hanley. It was mainly the door... Uh, manning the door, the guy owned me, owed me a favor or two, and a moment later, I was inside, looking down at Lacey Brown, uh, and she, as she was looking up at me, poor little, poor girl still had her eyes open, a tube of lipstick in her fingers, red, like the crits of stains on her dress, a gruesome sight. What you do, get yourself mixed up in Lacey? 
I could ask all I wanted, but dead rarely answer. Interesting. Interesting. Need help cleaning up? No, but that vase fell. That was a piece that my grandmother made. Oh, I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah. They said more tremors are on the way. We should have secured the shelves. This was her last completed piece of Fosgrim. She called it some Scandinavian myth, a creature that played music. It, looked, it took her several attempts after Grandpa died. She had trouble finishing her work. Thank you for helping me organize the house. I hope it wasn't distracted. Has it distracted you too much from your work? Actually, it's been a nice way to pace out the day. My coding time has been extra productive. Besides, this house has been teaching me things about you, about art, about how other families can live. Your grandparents really loved you. I won't get to meet them, but I still feel like I know them. No. Thanks, Mira. That's so sweet. All right, let's go see what the cat was protecting. I guess this cat, cat got your tongue. Oh, wow, he tried painting? What is all this? Hey, Rick, I had a great time at your place. Dinner was delicious. I gotta admit, seeing the entire house was strange. It's so full and empty at the same time. The family relics, uh, the art. It's hard to imagine growing up there. Thanks again for letting me borrow your mom's poem. Uh, like I said, I feel weirdly inspired by it. Maybe that will help me make this week's giant milestone. Sorry if you didn't. Don't hear it from me. My head will be buried in code. Mira, P.S. You do have great, good taste in music after all. Dear Rick, you convinced me. I'll try my hand at writing letters. Let's see what the fuss is about. I've added a drop of lavender perfume. I only wear this stuff on for fancy occasions. So I guess if we ever go to something special, the smell will take you back to the moment you open the letter. Very romantic, right? Sincerely, Mira. Dear Rick, the, there was a moment last weekend at the river watching fireworks. You had this look on your face, like you were completely content. Not a care in the world. The whole time I looked at you, I shared that same feeling. Like I it was exactly where I was supposed to be, and nothing could go, ever go wrong. Uh, being with you is wonderful. I love you, Rick. And I'm glad the universe and the power of computer science threw us together against all odds. Yours, Mira. Heart. Aw. Rick must have saved these letters. No wonder. Most of them are from Mira. They must have been very special to him. Rick and Mira's relationship makes me think about what Ares has sacrificed. Sign mates in the combat and dedicate to science to ensure survival. Romantic Romance is typically super superfluous for us fluous love can bring so much joy in life it's part of what makes us human but hasn't that joy been met with equal disaster right now i guess that's our sacrifice less regulation more risk life is a struggle but come on there's nobody back at areas where you're mean been meaning to smooch you should go for it let your love reign free for a change no not really Really? No? I've always been pretty solitary. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I have friends. Only a couple, to be honest. But you can love your friends, too. When I see the kind of love Mira and Rick had, it gives me hope. I want humanity to have that freedom again. Not just less rules. Freedom from worrying about the bloom and survival. The freedom to love without consequence, the thought brings me joy. I'm not sure what to say. It's a good thing to be hopeful for. I'm glad we're on this mission together, Professor. Me too, T. Ooh. We're gonna go in order. Another poem. Consent, a quiet place. Poems by Emmy. You asked for a kiss, but I've had worse things stolen from me. Since you asked, let's trade. I'll give you one kiss. You give me a twine bound pound, pound of flesh. Fair? No? Okay. How about a dollar? Does that put the market value of my kiss in question? Fine. Take it. I give you one kiss, tax-free, non-transferable, just one. 
the first one. The first is free. Don't really get the message here, but I like the playfulness. It's a strange one. I used to think about, think it was about pe how people treat a romance like bartering. Now I think it's more about boundaries. Interesting. Okay, data. Mira, I'm self-taught. Oh no, university. It's cool you taught yourself well enough to ha hold the job. Yeah, well, it's kind of become my whole world. It doesn't really feel like work. I spend so much time doing it that sometimes I need to remind myself to eat. Corrupt. Oh, so you live in a house, corrupt. What? You... That's like a mansion, corrupt. Well, as someone who shared a bunk bed with her sister until she was 15, a dozen rooms does not seem normal. Though, I guess it feel, must feel empty with no one else there. Sometimes it does. It was nice to have company. Design note version one. In Echo and Embers, I've built out the houses like a haunted castle. The player explores room by room. My ghost floats in, telling stories about each room. The player finally wins by freeing the ghost of, from the house. As I've been building it out, there's a lot of rooms. And I realize how ridiculous this house was. Maybe Mira's right. It's a place too big for one ghost. I've been pretending the main character is Mira. I wonder how she'd feel about that. I'll get her play test when she comes over tonight. So the house felt empty even before the collapse. This house also feels so alive though. It's just all below the surface. A few dozen meters below the surface at least. Haha, <laughs> very humorous, Commander. This is my best material. Commander, may I pose a question? Of course, Aurora, I'm usually the one asking you things. Do you find humor to be romantic? Oh, ha, <laughs> well. I tend to go for pork-fisted jokes, you may notice. Not exactly romantic. You don't say. Uh, and the, but like poetry, maybe can be undertones, little suggestions hidden in the humor. Jokes with suggestive punchlines. They can be innocent, but usually it means the joke teller is flirting. And remember, bad humor can kill even the friendliest of relationships. It's a delicate art. I've been a victim the victim of many horrible jokes. Not mine, I hope. As a matter of fact, no. Your humor is almost refreshing compared to Aries' science puns. Almost refreshing. Now take that as a compliment. Did that help, Aurora? Yes, I've learned about your humor. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. If a home, organizing your home is the smart way, what would you like to catalog? Begin catalog process by naming, adding, your old mother's old notebooks to room catalog. Ah, yeah, she didn't have room to take them to LA. She was younger than us when she wrote those. Spring Blossom. Oh, it's a poem about the pond. She spent a lot of time outside, according to my grandma, daydreaming and climbing trees. So that must be her ivy carver carving on the dock, adding the tiny dock out back to room catalog. What carving? You grew, up, you grew up here and you never noticed her carving? It's beautiful. I'll show you. I guess your mom and I like hanging out in the same spot. Adding old basement junk to room catalog. My grandmother worried the dust would be bad for my lungs, so it was off limits until I was older. Did, you, did that bother you? Having a place in your own... Having a place in your own house that you weren't allowed to go to? A little, but they meant well. When I was really young, they told me a curse had sealed it for ten years. By the time I was a teenager, teenager I understood why. Adding old appliance in this box. <laughs> oh, this would have been a precious treasure for little Rick. Rick, all this cool old stuff, whenever, uh, whatever Grandpa couldn't fit in the garage, he put it down in the basement for later. There might still be some of my mother's boxes too. That's exciting. She seems like a fascinating person. Let's see if we can find them. Congratulations, your order has been placed. Confirmation. Uh, book, joyful organization, shipped, uh, and then book, make your room your own, shipped, and book, the first kiss, and then what? Interesting. Yeah, this house is huge. Like, it just is amazing. 
there's already a disc inside. I think it's playing. Then why isn't there any picture? The display must be broken. Aurora are able to tell what's going on. I can project the film, but I can relay the sub subtitle data. Subtitles, like the words that are being said? Show that. Devices which intercept the flow of consciousness. We call it sleepjacking. The ability to enter a person's dream. How do I know you're on the level? Because you're right. Because right now, you're in a dream. Wakes up. Welcome to reality. See, in a dream, only dreamers think they're awake. You don't have to tell me that, don't I? No, because that right now you're in a cold, you're in your dream, Cod. A dream within a dream. Loud music. <laughs> hmm. Not quite the same when you can't see it. Flag the disc player for salvage team, Aurora. We'll try to watch them later. Is that supposed to be exception? Huh. Another remote control? I think I recognize this one. It's a clicker for the garage doors. Great. I'll get to the garage and see if it works. Yay! Confidential. Rick's poem tree. Do not read without permission. Oops. <laughs> what to call my first collection? Possible titles. Moments from the soul. Understanding Rick. Tales of the deep thought. Pools of the Introspection by Rick and Baron, a poet, crying and smiling cosmic truths, terrible confronts, comforts from the unknown market, drifting through Rick's space like life of a Baron. Did I go too far? Say something I shouldn't have? Am I coming on too strong? Eating salad. I stopped. Did the lettuce scream? Were the sound of my lips? Like taking a shower. I twist the knob more than I meant to freeze. To I freeze. Did I just burn myself? Is my towel just an illusion? Is there a human connection there? It's hard to see when your eyes are wet. Echoes in an empty house. Footsteps when nobody's here. I'm not here. A luxury of space. My per own personal orbit. My helmet on. I struggle for air. The earth is more vast than science knows. A galaxy in my heart. Down on the floor. Visiting the dust bunnies, swimming with alien life forms, Floorboards Creek. You can't breathe wood. Eating choo choo choo. Did you eat something too? You can't eat loneliness by yourself. Strength and confidence. I can't remember a memory that I never had, even had. When you look at your, look at me, it fills me like our day at the hill. We've got to, we've got to come back here sometime. I never will. Wow. Rick, you okay? You okay, buddy? Is this the first one that just has one memory? Oh. There we go, Flagic Error, Unknown Anomaly and Simulation. Please advise, Professor. It's Rick and Baron at different stages of life, of his life. Aurora must be having trouble determining the order of events. If this was his room, he would have spent a lot of time here. Try to categorize different stages of his life, Aurora. People change as they grow. He's an important part of the sunken city. I want to see him as he really was. The princess was my favorite. I love her. Do you like what she got? That she got to marry the prince? Yeah, I was like so happy. It was a good end. Do you want to get married one day too, like the princess? Of course. So, uh, what do you think? Hmm. Uh, I think I have to go. Oh, okay. See you at school tomorrow. Um, I'm really busy. Sad. Rar, Sir Riken. Riken. Slayer of the mighty Krakens. And rider of dragons. Ah, uh, yes. Lovely. Sir Riken, the unstoppable. Uh, I can't. Sir... What is your emergency? Are you still there? Yes, help. Inhaler, out. Did you say you need help? Please speak louder if you are able. Please. Stay calm. We're sending someone now. Please, I'm... The best artist ever. I'll show my finest artwork to people. Will you have adoring fans? Yep, lots of them. Oh, no. Damn it. 
that's not why is it mixing together oh stupid oh is it just you all by yourself nope you'll be there too mom goodbye Rick fine just go then and grandma and grandpa too And I have so many friends. They'll come me up to come over and play. Hey, Matt, it's Rick. Sorry it's been so long, man. How have you... Oh, uh, I guess this is the wrong number. Sorry to bother you. I'll create entire worlds with heroes and a queen. And big skeletons. Oh, s skeletons. <laughs> huh. And now the warlock takes center stage. Our main antagonist, ruthless and uncompromising, uncom our hero must first traverse the swamplands. That sounds wonderful, Rick, sweetie. Okay then, how will it end? So how will it end? I'm not sure yet. I'm still writing the big dance scene. Oh, drawing from romantic teenage years, are we? Are you kidding? I was way too awkward for those. I managed to land one serious relationship in high school. Tell me. She came over once. I took her to the game room. We played around. Scandalous. A round or two of supreme fighting. Or fighter, I mean. <laughs> My parents let, never let me hang around boys. I always had to sneak away to somewhere hidden. You know. This room is a lot nicer with the lights off. Hey, Mira, I, uh, I really wanted to tell you something. Y yes? Well, it's just that. You're the most beautiful person I've ever met, Rick. But that's... I was about to say the same thing. Oh, I know. I saw it coming a mile away. You did? <laughs> you do have a thing or two to learn about women. I really mean it, though. You're beautiful. It's hard to... Not think about you lately. I'm waking. I wake up thinking about you. Mira, I. What are you doing? What you think I'm doing? Aurora, can you reactivate the projection? We can't see what's happening. <laughs> Professor, I. The subjects are not rendered. Memory complete. Memory complete. Why weren't they rendered? Another issue with the archive. Archive. Yes. No. The wardrobe. Wardrobe data is not present. What's she saying, Professor? I'm not exact, oh, that's, yes, that's a fine error. Please archive the memory, but shall we move on? Yes, moving on. Wow, I'm gonna end that there. Wow, Rick has lived in this house for a very long time and potentially died and fell in love and Oh man, the story is just getting more and more interesting. I'm about to go upstairs and figure out more. And maybe I'll even get in that room that was locked up, up to the top. So, curious where this goes next. So, I appreciate everyone who watched this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.